Welcome, in front of me is a Sony Xperia L4 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification. So as you can see the phone in front of me is locked and basically skip this we're gonna start off by connecting to Wi-Fi which I already am as you can see based on that um, <coughs> one bar reception uh, so I have a super strong connection right now um, and once you connect you want to go back to the first page and then choose any kind of language that well has a different keyboard now I'm gonna be using uh, Greek as an example right here so let's stop on that there we go and from there let's get back to the page where we need to verify our account so once we are back on the verification page tap on the field right here and we're going to start off by holding the space bar and this will give us the option to change it back to qwerty so let's select that and you can see the keyboard changed back and then hold spacebar once more and select the last option in the blue text and tap on the bottom right here on the button and from here choose any option that has an arrow as you can see so I'm gonna tap on the first one and then tap on three dots and you'll have uh, the second option that pops up is help and feedback so this thing right here so let's select that and in the search bar for help and feedback you want to type in morse code or MOR seems to be enough so use morse code select that and tap on the play button wait a moment and it should pop up there we go with these three dots so tap on those and then select the clock for watch later and this will open up the browser here stop on accept and continue and we don't want to log in so right over here and then in the search bar you want to search or navigate to hard reset that info like so give it a moment the outstanding internet speed is uh, really helping me out here um, there we go so it finally loaded now once you're on the website uh, you want to tap on the bar right here the three bars and go into the download category and then in the download search field you can see right here you want to type in Android 8 like so and let's search and you should see only one thing the FRP bypass up right here so we'll tap on the download button scroll down and you want to hold this option and it will bring up a couple of options that it can perform uh, you're interested in opening up in an incognito tab which is the second option it's basically always second option and uh, before we can start downloading we need to grant access to storage so just tap right here okay and anything that you will be confirming is always located on the right side while the denial of any kind of source um, is on the left so right here uh, we want to save it so let's sa save by tapping on the right side right here and confirm that by tapping on ok and as you can see it's right now downloading and once it's done we have an option that will appear to open it Just let's finish for finish this there we go you can now see uh, open and once you tap on it uh, it brings up chrome um, little icon and basically what we need to do is uh, grant access that the device can install apps from from chrome that has been downloaded by chrome so we need to tap on the right side right here enable that trademark right here and go back and install which is again on the right side then once it's done installing on the right side you will again have a now open option Tap on open and we're now in the FRP bypass app. So from here choose Google Account Manager APK install for version 6.0 and again same process we need to grant uh, permission for app to be installed from this source so right side enable go back 
install. And this time around, once it's done installing, we only have the done option, which is this one right here. Click on it, and it goes back to the app. Now, tap on Bypass FRP, choose Browser Sign In, and then at the bottom, tap on the three dots, and you have only one option, which is Browser Sign In. So tap on that option, confirm it, and it should bring up Google. And there we go. So now, tap on the search bar right there, or field, and you wanna insert your Google account. So if you don't have one, you can always create one on your computer, for instance, and then use it to log in. I have one, so I don't need to do, uh, do that. So that's what I'm gonna use right now. There we go, let's tap on next. And I'm gonna put in a password for this once it's actually grasp the email, there we go. So let me put in password. And then press the login. It's just a blue button right here. And once that's done, and you're back in the app, hold power key. And you wanna select restart, which is the second option, the, kind of like a circular arrow. So once you tap on it, it's gonna start restarting. And we should be back on the setup screen soon after. Now, if you don't have a SIM card in the device, you won't see the screen. Uh, I have a SIM card with a pen, so that's why it's pop popping up. Um, but once the device is finished, you should basically see this right here. So now we can change back to English or whatever language you are, you're using. For me, it's English, so that's what, what I'm setting it to. Let's get started. And again, you want to primarily skip through most of it as much as you can. Uh, setup at this moment doesn't really matter. We're just trying to get access to the home screen. So, if for you this goes quicker, uh, feel free to basically go through the entire setup. Uh, the moment where you normally would have the verification screen, it will tell you that uh, account was added and it should show the account that we have added right before the reset, as you can see right here. So let's tap on next. So once we're on the home screen from here, we're gonna go into the settings. So let's go to the settings scroll all the way down to system tap on advanced and you'll find the reset options and in here uh, erase all data factory reset right there select that it gives us a little message a quick one that basically performing this will remove all the data and list of things that will remove and also in terms of google accounts it provides us with the account that we have added but it also will remove an uh, account that isn't visible here that was previously blocking us. So after you tap erase everything right here, uh, the phone will begin basically unlocking itself. And once the reset is finished, we will be back in the setup screen, but this time around the phone is fully unlocked. So I'll be back once the process is finished. Okay, so as you can see, the process is finished. So I'm gonna put in my uh, pin for the SIM card once more. And again, we're gonna go to the setup process of the device. Now this time around, you can set up your device as however you like. It's basically fully unlocked at this point. Um, so you can add all your accounts, uh, protect protection for the device and stuff like that. Now, I won't really bother with this. I'm trying to get through the setup process quickly, uh, but if you want to add all that, 
you can everything will be working just fine and number uh, one that I can see already is the fact that I can skip the Wi-Fi connection which is not possible if the device would be still locked and finish and as you can see now the process is fully finished so if you found this video helpful don't forget to well hit like subscribe and thanks for watching now for some reason the device seems to be resetting once more i'm not really sure why but i guess i'll wait and see what this will do okay so there we go um this reset seemed to have basically no reason. But yeah, like I said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching once more.